I thought I played all of this shit. Turns out there's infinite bad games on these systems. Game Boy and GBA were dumping grounds for terrible video games. This one's called VIP by Ubisoft. I did not watch their uh, reveals today, chat. Let me guess, you have to capture towers to reveal the map. Okay, so this already it looks like daytime television. Amazing. Um, Charlie's Angels. I don't know what's going on. Vinny actually know? Oh, alright. Well, I'll have to watch the Ubisoft at some point. I, I guess I... Karen Hair Detective says chat. What? No! We've been hired by Don Walsh. Dan Walsh. Genius behind Ultra Labs. One of his research. Oh, whatever. I need a Tums. It starts early. Good. All right. Uh, apparently, this is a Pamela Anderson movie. <laughs> So you know it's got to be good. Wow, look at that anatomy. <laughs> look at that anatomy, toothpicks. <laughs> then the Robertsons are sticking straight out. Holy God. How do you support the weight of your body with toothpicks? This is, uh... How do we... Oh... Yeah... What? Uh, what? What? You died? I don't know what's happening, or why it's happening, but it's happening. The flipping mechanic is probably the only thing worth talking about, really, that's- that's decent. But, um, yeah, it's just really not a fun game to play so far. Maybe it will be more fun later. I don't- I don't know. Could be. I still can't believe Pamela Anderson got her own video game. That's amazing. I mean, there's just so many things. I I immediately like wonder like where this how this happen. She got quite a few movies, didn't she? Stand still for the idle animation. Okay, I would love to, but I'm stuck. Okay. Chat, now I have to ask the real questions. And I hate that I have to do this. Okay. How many people do you think... ...when this game came out... ...were looking at their Game Boy Advance... ...while probably eating dinner? And they shouldn't be. But you think maybe they did? You don't want to play video games while you're eating dinner. That's, that's just rude. Poor form. Her eye... is... that's like... Her eyebrow is just twitching, I guess. I guess that's fine. I guess how everyone's eyebrows are twitching. That's how shotguns work. Wow, what a game. So fun. Wait, what's this dude's idle animation? Okay. Just 
Uh, I think we've seen enough of this game. You get the idea. It's just... Bland. It's just bland. It's just an excuse to buy a Pamela Anderson game. But then you have this from LucasArts, and published by THQ. It's Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. I might have played this at some point. Man, Anakin had some real stank face in episode two. Wait a minute. Why are we getting the Imperial March? It, there is a theme that is not representative of episode two. It's the Imperial March. Vader's not Vader yet. Ugh. Foreshadowing? All right. Foreskinning, sure. Vinny, that's literally... I know it was in Episode 2. The Imperial March was in Episode 2. Okay. Alright. I, I tried, chat. I tried to tear it apart. I couldn't... So this is a very compressed version of the Star Wars theme. Doesn't sound terrible for GBA, but it's very compressed. Wow, I love watching the movie one frame at a time. Wow, all the best stuff in Episode 2 was just told to us in text. Oof, this is, this is already pretty rough. Yeah, this is, this is fucking... You can already see the cheapness. Pondu Baba? That's my favorite Star Wars character. Dexter Jetster is in, in this game. Probably. I hope. They better not leave out my boy Dexter. So, um, the sprites are only matched by the gameplay in terms of pure shittery. I've made no, like, mis- um... I've made no bones? What, what, what sentence am I looking for? Well, I have not been shy to tell you that I think Episode 2 is the worst Star Wars movie. Yes, even worse than the sequels. It's, you know, I hate Episode 2. I really hate it. Uh, episode 1 is entertaining. It's got the pod race. It's got good music. It's got Darth Maul. It's got so many cheesy, fun moments. This movie is just tough to sit through. The cheesy forced love plot. A lot of questionable special effects. Um, just really bad acting all around. It's like, you know, they did the best with what they had. They tried. Ewan McGregor especially tried. He's always good. This game is lame as fuck. Wow. Someone's- people are saying they'd rather watch Attack of the Clones in any sequel trilogy. Listen, man, that's- that's fine. That's my opinion. You know, uh, here's the- here's the deal. I think the Clone Wars... ...is really interesting stuff. I just hate anything related to Attack of the Clones. The movie. Mostly. I think it's- it's pretty- pretty rough. Man.
the Star Wars you like is bad. Man, we are a fandom divided. Not only do we hate ourselves and Star Wars, we hate each other because they like Star Wars. You can't even like... Remember when there were just three movies and everyone just liked those three movies and we were all like, eh, everyone else hates us, but at least we have good movies to watch. Now it's like, yeah, you like the sequels? Fuck you. You like the prequels? Fuck you. You like everything? How dare you? <laughs> That's why we play Frogger. There's only, you know, Frogger is a very simple, uncomplicated fan base. There's, you know, no issues within the Frogger fandom, I promise you. No, there are problems, never mind. I played a version of this not on GBA, but I remember this version. I remember the Edge Frogger, or Adult Frogger, or whatever the fuck this is. I don't think I've played this specific game. I think I played the PS2 version. Also, someone said they'd rather watch Attack of the Clones over Last Jedi <clears throat> and Rise of Skywalker. I'm good on all three of those movies. So I feel you on that, but there's, there's a limit to how far I'm willing to go for Star Wars. I know there are a lot of people who are just like, thank God the Star Wars discussion didn't go that long. And he's like, and they're like, oh no, he brought it up again. See, now Lumpy is the name of a Wookiee from the Star Wars Holiday Special. I believe it's one of Chewbacca's sons. He had a son named Lumpy. There was a son called Itchy. There was Harry. There was Screwbacca. This game suffers from giant sprite syndrome, which is, let's get those sprites as big as possible so that they're nice and and good in promo photos, but boy does this game suffer for it, because you, you, everything moves too quickly. Um, it's not the worst platformer I've ever played by any means, but no, it's, it's just kind of lazy. Man, I feel bad for Frogger. Frogger had such success in the arcades. You know, was one of those, um, household names, almost, like, next to Pac-Man, and just couldn't find his footing. And as a frog, that's, that's a goddamn shame. I feel like Frogger should have gotten a Conker's Bad Fur Day treatment. What is this thing? Really, um, pretty obvious attempts at Donkey Kong Country. Uh, this game could only, like, dream to aspire to be anything as good as Donkey Kong Country, in my humble opinion. Well, for one, the visuals are, like, 3D rendered in sprites. You got the zingers with the bees. There's just a general Donkey Kong Country feel to the visuals, but just not as good. Ah, well. Some people fucking hate Donkey Kong Country. I, I, I am sorry. I, I love Donkey Kong Country. I'm sorry that you feel that way. That sucks. Donkey Kong Country has brought me so much joy over the years. It's one of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo games. And, uh... You know... So Spunko, I believe, did Ren and Stimpy. This is the Ripping Friends. I already fucking hate it. This 
so there's uh, some characters here that are different. I'll just go the default, whatever. Uh. I didn't even know the show existed. This is a show? I thought this was an original IP for the GBA. was a horrible show. Man, to fall so, so far from Ren and Stimpy Seasons 1 and 2. What a shame. This, um, this game is pretty fucking atrocious too, uh, mind you. Dropping sausages and lemons. My e my ears are contracting some kind of STD from this game's music. This, this this is the worst of the night so far. This is worse than the Pamela Anderson game. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I I've already had enough of this one. Moving on to Animorphs. For Game Boy Color. Ubisoft seems to have gotten the license to a number of really um, strong properties. We'll say, yes, yeah, strong. The Yerks have landed. They are hideous creatures. They control the minds of people and other aliens. That looked like a chicken. Well, at least the music isn't as bad as the previous game. Pokemon? Pokemon. It, it is Pokemon. <laughs> High quality morph graphic. Goat gnaw. Look. The attack names. I, I guess I can turn into a goat now. <laughs> Hork Bajir. Yes, uh, we'll transform into a go- <laughs> Honestly, this game is pretty fucking cursed. It definitely isn't as bad as some of the other ones tonight, but it's- it's still pretty cursed. Yeah, it's- okay. It's notorious for GDQ's awful game block. Is that real? 
I had no idea that anyone would play a game like this these days. To be fair, you are playing it now. Yeah, I read Animorphs. Someone said, did you read Animorphs as a kid? Yeah, I had, I had several Animorphs books. I thought it was fine. I say it was fine. It was one of those things that everyone had to read. During the book fairs at school, they would have Animorph books all over the place. You had no choice. I remember one time, though, they had a Star Wars book, a Han Solo book. See, I'm going back to Star Wars, and I, I, liked, I bought that, and I liked that. So... So yeah, I had the Animorphs books. I had that. I had some weird Dinosaur Kingdom book. I don't remember what the hell that was, but that was fun. I remember I bought a Star Wars book about Darth Vader's glove. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It was uh, like a 20 years, 25 years ago, it was a kid's book. And it was about his glove. Yes, it's awful. Can you please tell me what the fuck that was? I don't know. Yeah, I have to find out what that book is. Chat is going very fast. Apparently a lot of people know what that is. But, let's continue. Next game is called Wade Hickston's Counterpunch. Top 10 things you didn't know about Vader's suit. Number 10, his glove is actually a Sith artifact. We're just going to be driving with boxing gloves on. Seven, eight, nine, two. It's like a nine second loop. Hot dang. Wow, we need to not. We need to not continue looking at the story of this game because it is driving me insane. Oh no, it's not grating and terrible. It, it's fine. The music is, is absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is- I know what's gonna happen- that's gonna end up being the fucking thumbnail to this, like, Twitch VOD. Knowing my luck, and knowing how the Twitch VOD just randomly choose one frame, it's gonna be that. That's a lot of story. Oh, this is Punch-Out, kind of. Not kind of, it, it is punch out. Cheater. Cheater.
Make no mistake, I'm saying it's very much punch out. It's just harder to get your moves, the enemy moves telegraphed to you. Either that or I'm just terrible at this particular brand of, of game. I think just the sprites are too big. I don't know, maybe... Maybe this isn't as bad as I think it is. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Were you ever three, good at punch out? I used to get four, to Mike Tyson. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could get to Mike Tyson, go. I could not defeat Mike Tyson. This is called Quest for Camelot. So, Warner Brothers. I do remember this movie. I don't think I've ever seen it. Titus, as you know, made Superman 64. <laughs> so, if this is in a bad game collection, maybe it's good. Maybe, maybe this is going to be a great game. We're in for a lot of fun. Yeah, I can barely read the font. Oh, what this walk cycle is baffling. This this is like a Game Boy game with loading times. Just found a chicken. Looks like she is limping. Now, is that part of the movie? Is that like a plot element of the film? No? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> very, very slow game. Um, I guess I have to find a sword. Oh, boy. Are, are you a blacksmith? <laughs> no, it's idle animation. I... Blacksmith needs more hens. What's wrong with its... What's wrong with his mouth? It's shocking how poorly this game... Like, it just, it's, doesn't... It has loading times. Why, why would it have loading times? There's more than... Okay, I'm done with this game. There's an image included in the Quest for Camelot folder, and it's this.
So the chat is just gone. Um, to make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the am I still live? I was still on the force back then. NYPD. Chat, my, my chat is precinct. gone. Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Bane? You need to make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Show the baby come first. I am still alive, I'm being told. My chat just, See, like, fucked itself. Spare for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday. Oh, you're back. Hi, right. chat. Like taking candy from a baby. So, welcome to Max Payne GBA. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. Smell of freshly mowed lawns. I'm sure some of you know the story of Max Payne. If not, bad shit happens. He f he suffers Max Payne. Let's see if it's a good game. I don't know why this was included. Some people in chat are saying this is a good game. Shorter load times than Camelot? Yeah, true. Um, the camera whips around like a fucking Viper roller coaster at Six Flags, but other than that... It's GBA, it's 3D, and it's, it's decent so far. Yeah, I mean, I get it. it. You have to have the camera whip around so you can see in front of you. I understand that. It's probably a concession that had to have been made. Aiming is a little weird. Eagle. <laughs> Just eagle. The desert part of the eagle is you, you're not allowed to. Sorry, that's copyright. Yeah, you don't really aim, you just kind of point in the direction and hopefully it hits. It, it. I don't know if I would play this full game, but maybe if I was a big Max Payne fan when this came out, sure. Get a lot of ammo. Yeah, this this is not a so far this is not a bad game. Oh shit. No, it's terrible, never mind. It's a little jank. It's good. It's just good because it's like shocking that Max Payne could be on GBA and run this well, but it's it's a little jank. There's some stankiness here. Have you never streamed Max Payne? No. I played Max Payne. I played the most recent Max Payne. Uh, well, recent ish. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning on playing any Max can Max games, uh, soon. Awesome, dude. Well done. <laughs> well done uh, on the door. Yeah, 
Yes, you must heal. Yeah, again, not much I can say that I haven't, but the truth is, I don't know if I can play through a whole game of that, but it was surprisingly good. That does not belong in this collection. That belongs in a collection of, like, oh, this is pretty good. They did the best they could, and they managed to get some decent results out of the GBA. Crash of the Titans. 2007. Sierra. Crash Bandicoot. Didn't even know this game existed. Is this Edge Crash? I don't even think Crash got all that edgy. Did he? Just the design? Okay, it's play now. Oh boy. On some level, after Max Payne, I was expecting this to be good. Why are the colors so desaturated? I like how Crash Bandicoot punches instead of doing his signature uh, spin attack. Someone in chat says, I had this game. I hate this game. What makes you hate this game? Because I'm not going to play enough of it to find out. This game was a beat-em-up on the main consoles. Oh. It's almost like we wonder... Ooh. Why, uh, the, the Crash Bandicoot franchise kind of fizzled out so hard, and now they're making Crash 4. <laughs> it's almost like there's a reason for that. Vinny, the final levels are bullshit. You're bullshit. Nah, you're fine, chat member. It's a beat em up here, too. Enemies have, um... Yeah. Moves, and, and you have a life bar, and, and oh. Controls are not amazing, but they're not the worst, either, so far. It's okay. Just kind of okay controls, I suppose. It's fine. Um... Really easy to get stuck in place, though. Pretty generic. With so little of what makes Crash Bandicoot special. Well, I won. Damn.
so no thanks. Ice 9? This has notes. It says notes for Vinny. It says here, this game has an incredible backstory. It was supposed to be a licensed game in 2003 based on the Al Pacino movie The Recruit. However, the licensing deal fell through and was renamed to Ice 9 and was supposed to release with a PS2 version as well. The PS2 version got shit canned, but the GBA version is the last remnants of it in its existence and was the only one to make it to retail in 2005. Okay, this is epic. I wonder if there's going to be any Al Pacino. Do we have an Al Pacino look-alike? It's Sal Pacino. Come, I am Michael Kurtz, your trainer at the farm. Your CIA recruit training today starts with the knife. Oh no. Oh no. I'm always amazed by 3D GBA games, but that doesn't mean I want to play them. Uh, I typically like watching videos of other people playing 3D GBA games. Good tutorial there. The cage suppressed pistol! Sorry. I mean, what more is there to say? It's- it's this. I'm assuming the whole game is just lots of this. Impressive engine for first-person shooter on GBA, though. I will give it that. There are way worse. Medal of Honor comes to mind. This at least has a fairly decent frame rate. Civilians dead, Carter! Who side are you fighting for? Is there a way to, like, not do the training missions? Oh, well. Toy Story Racer on Game Boy Color. I believe I've played this at some point in the past. If this is a 3D game, you're in for a fucking treat, chat. Yeah, I have played this. This is another shocking game. It's not good, but just the fact that it works is kind of surprising. Um, it- well, I mean... Chat saying it's all pre-rendered. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. I might have learned this last time too, but I don't remember what... Maybe this was on some kind of technology segment I did for Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, maybe. Not sure, but yeah, this definitely, I definitely played this and I remember thinking, pretty cool. Just because you can do something, though, doesn't mean you should. Um, and in the case of Toy Story, you didn't really need to make this a pre-rendered racing game. It, 
it just plays itself. Except for when it doesn't. Vinny, I was going to ask why Woody is shirtless. <laughs> I don't... I... I... Wait a minute. Why is he shirtless? Did you know that Tom Hank has a brother that does the voice of Woody? And, like, all his other characters in video games and, like, you know, commercials or whatever, just, like, promos. Like, he's got a brother that sounds like him, so he just does, for a living, he imitates his brother. And, and makes fucking cheddar. It's Jim Hanks. Yeah, Jim Hanks. Someone said that's sad. Another person said that rules. Well, think of it this way. It's a steady job. I mean, you have to kind of come to terms with the fact that, yeah, you're, you're living in your brother's shadow. But if you don't give a fuck about that, or if you get over it real quick and realize that, you know, the fame aspect of it doesn't really matter all that much, then yeah, it's money. It's a job. This is Lizzie McGuire 3, chat. Hey, McGuire, I heard from a friend that you might try to win Homecoming Queen this year. I don't know. What- what's Lizzie McGuire? Does chat know? Is this Garfield? It's a... Disney show from the 90s? Okay, why does this character look like Garfield? Uh, John Field. WarioWare? It's early 2000s, Disney? Oh. Chat, this is fucking weird. It's just... Bad micro-games? Okay, I'm getting a lot of misinformation. Chat is saying now that it's a live action show with animated segments. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm getting so much information. My entire world was rocked in the span of 30 seconds. Everything I thought to be true. But I don't get that one. Hillary Duff. It's what put Hillary Duff on the map. I... Okay. It's kind of bizarre to see a... like a direct copy of WarioWare for a licensed... Uh, third-party property there. That's, uh, it's a little bizarre. Just a cheap WarioWare. Not the worst thing I've ever played either, but, yeah, eh, I don't know. Eh. Around the world in 80 days. <laughs> wow, nice glitch.
Vinny, isn't that landing sound the same as the body sound from Half-Life 2? Yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I believe I have the exact sound. Had. Don't know where it is now. It was the bird? Does anyone remember the bird? It's a bird video. That would have been much more interesting than this game, but hey, let's just play the game, I guess. This is unfortunately not one of those so bad it's good games, it's just so... ...basic. Now, I remember, remember this chat. I'm sure many of you are like, you know, Vin, why don't you give the games a chance before you judge them? And the truth is, you're right. I only do a couple minutes of each game, sometimes 10 minutes at most. Oh. But you can really tell a lot, um, like based on a game's gameplay. You can learn many things and if you can't tolerate the first 10 minutes of a game, you're probably not going to have a better experience later on. And that's just a broad generalization. It could be wrong. But getting a good feel for, like, the first couple levels of a game, especially, like, a third-party, like, GBA licensed game, if it plays this boring, I don't really see that improving a whole lot. You know, the production quality sometimes can increase as time goes on with video games. Sometimes you'll play it and then later on the game gets better, I don't know. We're supposed to stay off the ground level, but I have to be on the ground level. Chad is saying this game gets amazing after 11 minutes. Well then, check this one out. This is Earthworm Jim, Menace to the Galaxy. Here's the video. Paul having played this, um, Earthworm Jim has had a rough history, a, a rocky road. I streamed the N64 Earthworm Jim not that long ago, and while not the worst thing I played, it was pretty rough. Definitely didn't live up to the, the Jim legacy. Vinny, you forgot to show the video. I, oh, I just wanted the sounds. I go in? They're making an Earthworm Jim 3 exclusively for the new ColecoVision console? I don't... Imagine being ColecoVision and thinking that Earthworm Jim is going to save your console. Fucking what? Well, Earth ColecoVision 
is like an old Atari ass console. I had a ColecoVision thing at some point. My cousin had ColecoVision. He loved that shit. Yeah, I played like um, Coleco Classic. Chat, I don't know how to like play this game. I don't know where to go. Uh, I could just have like some form of like earthworm brain damage, but. Yeah, essentially though, um, the ColecoVision was just another one of those consoles that had some stuff on it. People liked it for a bit, and then Nintendo came along and kind of overrode a lot of that enthusiasm. Intellivision, not ColecoVision. Oh, I was corrected. I got bad information, chat. Uh, this- this game makes- I don't understand. Like, I'm pressing up, I'm looking around, I'm pressing down, I'm pressing select. To go in, to do anything? I don't- I don't fucking understand. I'm done here. Sorry, Earthworm Jim. You deserve better. You always have. Dragon Ball Z? Taiketsu. Holy stereo. Do you know what blows my fucking mind? Like... The, uh, Devolver Conference? When they were announcing games, and then at the end it would say Stadia? It blows my mind that the games would be announced for Stadia. And it blows my mind... ...that it's only been a year, less than a year, and Stadia already feels dead. Should I be Go Gokan Goken? Go Wow. Is that what Gohan looks like, chat? Like the character from Reboot? Where's Bulma? Who should I be, chat? That doesn't matter. Need to fly. Is Krillin a child? No, why? Oh. He's just small. What's it like a That's what they say in the show. I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z. I know I know the catchphrases. I also like when he goes I don't know how to fly. <laughs> Vinny, do a combo? I would love to. Why do they have T-Rex arms? I don't know. Someone said this doesn't seem bad for a GBA game. I'm sure someone likes this game. I don't know how to fucking play it. It's just in the pack. You know, whoever made the pack, they were like, hey, this game is worthy of this list. I don't know how to do any combos. I don't know how to fly. I don't know how to, like, do a... Hangoken? What is it called the thing Vegeta does? Am I getting Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z confused? How do I do a Bakugan? No! 
I'm done. Sorry, Dragon Ball Z fans, I, I have no idea how to play that game. Uh, Carmageddon, it just keeps popping up in these showcases. Is there a single good version of Carmageddon? For fuck's sake, every time I do a bad game showcase, there's always a fucking Carmageddon included. There... It, it, it's terrible. The PC version is good. One and two are both good on the PC. See, I never played Carmageddon outside of these streams I've done. I didn't have it. I remember seeing it in the magazines. Uh, in the magazines that I used to read. And they weren't good, so I just didn't bother. Why are people dancing in the middle of the street? I think these are zombies. Well, listen, it's the... What can I say? It, it's the worst version of Carmageddon I played yet. And that's only after three minutes of playing it. So apparently, this is the lowest rated GBA game on Metacritic. And it's called Legends of Wrestling 2. Have I not streamed this? I love these graphics so much. Wow, Hulk. Wow. You are made of clay. Let's see who these legends are. So there's Hulk Hogan. There's Roddy Piper. By the way, I love Roddy Piper, one of my favorites. Him and Bret Hart is probably my favorite, even though I'm not even all that into wrestling. Uh, but, god damn, these barely look like human beings. Bam Bam de Bigelow. I would love to find the video. I think it was Bret Hart fighting Bam Bam Bigelow in... Uh... It was in, like, South America, and they kept going, Brrrr! And I don't know what the hell that was. It was so weird. Here's the video. There's no way you just found that. The Sheik? Is it the Iron Sheik? Who are these people? I, I guess I'll just be Roddy Piper. Player two, it doesn't matter, whoever. Graphics. So they're just putting maximum effort and quality into this game's intros. My favorite audience member is Dude in White T-Shirt. It's a good thing there's uh, three dozen of them. Vinny, I found the video. I promise you that that will be uh-oh stinky. Can you fart so hard your balls explode? Well, that wasn't. Uh oh, stinky. All right, let's let's play the game. Well, this is this is fucking bad. My God. I feel like none of the buttons I'm pressing actually do anything. I, 
I don't think any of the buttons are, are doing anything. I make you humble. This looks like a South Park animated fight. I, I promise you that looks better than this. This is really, um, I see why this is the lowest rated game, perhaps. I, I really don't even know I'm playing a video game right now. I feel like I'm watching someone else play a video game. The console versions weren't that good either. I wonder what the development cycle for this game looked like. I, I, I have to wonder how this went down. Troll's Hair Affair. Oh no, I was just talking about troll dolls not too long ago and how much I hated them. Man, Ubisoft just... Wow. Ubisoft just buys this garbage up. I wonder if Ubisoft still has the Trolls license? And if so, are they planning on bringing it back? Oh my god. Zopolis. I am I am not going to that website. I wonder if anyone was like a huge fan of this. Specifically this game and this hair. an attempt to capitalize on the popularity of Bratz dolls, but bringing back the Trolls property. Is this Pokemon? No. So I guess, in a weird way, I appreciate the game promoting safety, but the whole point of Trolls' hair is that they have lots of hair, but now that the troll doll is wearing a helmet, there is no hair. Oh, now here it is. They had to show it. Good hair day. Ubisoft does have the Trolls license, and they're making an app for it. B why can't we as a culture just let some things die? Like, why does the Trolls license still need to exist? We, we can get rid of it. We can stop it. It's time to let go.
I want you to picture a grown ass 35 year old man playing this game for the amusement of uh, of how many people are here? It has its own effect when you just watch the game, but then when you picture, like, you zoom out and you see me sitting looking dead with, like, you know, bags under my eyes in a dark room. Popeye rush for spinach. Listen, I, I got nothing but love for Popeye. You know, I grew up watching Popeye shows, and I like the Robin Will Ap Affleck. I, I grew up watching the the movie, the Robin Williams movie. I, Popeye's fine, but who greenlit a Popeye game? <laughs> I know Miyamoto originally wanted to make a Popeye game. And, uh, I, I, like, didn't get the license, so he made Mario instead. This is, like... I don't know. This is, like, really chaotic and fucking weird. I was gonna say, it reminds me of, a uh, Gourmet Race from Kirby Superstar, but way, way worse. It's just too goddamn chaotic. Radical Popeye. I can't believe Popeye is skateboarding. I can't believe he's gonna do the 900 and steal the title from Tony Hawk. We needed a troll doll Popeye crossover. There probably was a Popeye version of a troll doll. Troll of oil. Walt Disney World Quest. Magical Racing Tour, the quest for more money and more control. They were making an animated Popeye movie, but Sony fucking canceled it in favor of the Emoji movie. Uh, epic, epic Sony. Well done, Sony. We don't need this, like, the whole screen to, like, fall apart, to tear apart. I don't, like, really have much of a history with Disney, so I don't know who most of these characters are. Another racing game? All oh, right, Magical Racing Tour. <laughs> Taking advantage of them licenses. Really, uh... <laughs> Any of the PS1 versions better? I'm sure it is. I'm sure... Most of the games that started as PS1 or PS2 versions or N64 versions... ...were better. I mean... That's just what happens. Sadly, unless, you know, a developer really gave a fuck about the Game Boy, a lot of the, like, B-team developers ended up getting the ports. Sometimes they were decent. Turok was decent. I remember that. Perfect Dark was pretty okay. Like, it can happen. Sometimes Game Boy gets a decent port. 
Tony Hawk 2 got a really good GBA version. Only a couple games left, thank God. This is Meet the Robinsons. Didney. It's another thing, I don't even know what it is. And someone's gonna be like, Vinny, how did you not watch that show? It was so good. Robinsons was good. You were 25 at the time? Doesn't matter. Vinny, chat is telling me there was a movie. That's what Harrison Ford was talking about that time. Destroy the pizza gun. Build the pizza gun to destroy the little things. Oh. Boy, these games are getting real boring. I, I just want to know what the fuck a pizza gun is. Until I get my pizza gun, my only attack is my finger. Yeah, we're getting closer to the pizza gun. Pizza gun infinity opens the door. Wait for the answer to open the door. Pizza gun infinity opens the door. Everybody walk the dinosaur. <sighs> I'm gonna get this pizza gun chat, and it's not even gonna be fucking worth it. Thoughts on this soundtrack? I don't know! I don't know how I... Nothing is, like, making sense to me anymore. It's- everything is just blending into each other. So I'm the worst person to ask right now. I feel, like, dead. It started around the troll doll game, I think. Oh, it's this fucking thing, except... So what do you, what do you mean, pizza gun? I don't, I don't get it. What do you shoot pizza? How does that de destroy robots? Please, please stop. P please. It, it shoots. Go. Oh, this- this game is just awful. Not like I needed to say that out loud, but... I am highly disappointed by the pizza gun. Danny Phantom Urban Legend. I- I feel like I probably could skip this and still know what it, exactly what it was.
sadly, I think we've run out of funny bad games. And now it's just dumpster fires. Or mediocre. Or boring. This is one of those times when, when people were trying to explain Danny Phantom to me, and I didn't get it. Um, and people were like, Vinny, I can't believe you didn't see Danny Phantom. That prepared me for the future. Of... There are... Dozens of shows that people loved growing up that were just after I stopped watching cartoons. And I've learned since then that, um, that these are all great shows and one should just enjoy them. That's what I've learned. Because <laughs> cause if I don't know the show, people get upset enough. Is he a ghost? Oh yeah, Phantom. It's in the name. That's right. Ghost kid with superpowers. So it's a shoot 'em up. I mean, it's what it, it's what it is. It's fine. I, I don't really have... My brain isn't really working anymore after all this, but uh, I can tell you that it is it is a fine shmup if you like Danny and his phantoms. Winnie the Pooh Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. Holy shit, it's the last one. Chat, thank you for the education on Danny Phantom. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. I just wanted to know if he was a ghost. That's all. <clears throat> Note the original art, yet they're 3D models in the pictures there, next to their dialogue. That is not... at all disturbing. Those are some really fucking bizarre renders. Uh... Yeah, none of this looks natural. Someone said Pooh looks like a fucking cryptid. Oh, bother. Pooh just jostles trees and mushrooms, yeah. You see what you see what Pooh's doing to that mushroom? You see it! Listen, I'm gonna call this one a little early, and I'm just gonna say that I... I really, really don't have any more commentary left in me for Game Boy games. I have zero. I got nothing. I'm so sorry! I have... that was it. 
That's 23 shitty Game Boy games. That was like um, an hour and a half. It felt like two and a half hours. I was shocked when I looked down. It was 3 p uh, three a.m. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I was streaming shitty games for three hours. So thank you for that collection. We might have to do less next time. Maybe half of that. Regardless, it's something to look at. You know what else there is to look at, right? This. As soon as I find it, I'll show you. There's a...